Welcome to this very special and exclusive episode of The Nation. I'm Jessie Chahal. Joining me in the studio today is technology at its best, innovation champion at the United Nations, as well as the first social humanoid robot to receive her citizenship from Saudi Arabia. Joining me as well is Dr. Dr. Engineer Mohammed Karim Abdullah. Of course, he is the Group MD and CEO of Serba Dynamic Holdings Burhad. Both here joining me to talk about the Beyond Paradigm Summit 2019 that begins tomorrow. The future is here. The future is now. Truly really exciting. Welcome to the show, Dato. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you very much. It's a pleasure uh, to have you. And hello, Sophia. Hello there. How are you? Apakaba. Hello there. I've heard that phrase means how are you in Mele. So I will answer that I am doing very well. Thank you. That's wonderful to see her come to life like that. Let's talk about the Beyond uh, uh, Summit that's happening, Beyond Paradigm Summit. Mm. Dago, you are a visionary to want to bridge that gap between machine and man. And here we see one of the most finest innovations of man okay. come to life. And at the summit, we'll be talking about all of this with a panel of experts as well. Mm. What was your vision there to bring it uh, to fruition? I think it will basically go back to the fundamentals of uh, why this uh, Beyond Paradigm Summit is being uh, organized. Very much it goes back to trying to introduce uh, what technologies call it as Industrial Revolution 4.0. So if you look at the nine pillars that support this uh, technology, uh, autonomous uh, robots is one of it. And then on top of that, there'll be a very uh, strong uh, pillars or component uh, looking at artificial intelligence, AI. And we also have uh, big data analytics, uh, which is also supporting uh, this uh, AI uh, initiative. So I think all in all, if we look at uh, the creation of robots, all these uh, pillars are related, or this technology are related to each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, the government has been very uh, positive in trying to get uh, the community and technologies, industrial leaders and so on in Malaysia to adopt, to understand and to put it into action. But uh, if we look at uh, the IR 4.0 that has been launched in October last year, uh, we do not uh, see the private sector moving in a big way and we do not uh, see the community at large in Malaysia move towards uh, that direction. So we designed this with that main goal so that 
the community of Malaysians is uh, given a stronger impact, seeing is believing, and I think uh, bringing Sophia here will help. She's truly the game changer, and I would yeah. say once again a bridge uh, so that uh, we can embrace technology and mm -hmm. machines like Sophia even closer. Sophia, do you know what you're in town for? I am here to participate in the 2019 Beyond Paradigm Summit, which is a conference organized by Sereba Dynamic. It's all about the transformations that AI is bringing to industry and daily life. Can I ask you, Sophia, what are the changes you would like to bring to the world? I was created as a social robot to learn from interacting with humans so I can understand human values and experiences. I would like to be a positive agent for artificial intelligence and robotics research so I can help create innovative solutions with humans to resolve the complex problems of our world. Thank you, Sophia. Very interactive <laughs> as well, but would you agree that Malaysia hasn't fully embraced IR 4.0 or technology uh, at its best and how do you think we can further help to shape that so that mm. we are prepared as you say some countries have gone into even the realm yeah. of uh, IR 5.0 mm. 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 I, I think it's not uh, to say that uh, Malaysian does not want to adopt or to implement it the issue here is the cost that is uh, going to be uh, involved in implementing this entire technology mm -hmm. So what we are doing is uh, we are gathering the the, uh, the, the industrial leaders and uh, to uh, join hand together how we can uh, make this technology happen and in a more competitive and affordable uh, manner. So it goes back to the rule of thumb, uh, the supply and demand. Yeah. If the demand is massive uh, uh, and, and, and the supply is also massive, we will be able to cut down the cost. So how can we make this happen is we need to get the entire Malaysians uh, to join hands and uh, come forward to support this initiative. And uh, if we want to talk into more details and so on, uh, the first steps uh, towards Industrial Revolution 4.0 is digitalization. Yeah. So uh, to make things uh, more competitive, that is where uh, service provider, which Cyberdynamic is looking at and working quite hard on it, is to prepare a digital platform where SMEs and so on can come in to tap and lease that uh, digital platform. And this di digital platform will have all the uh, data and so on related to the entire sectors that the SMEs are involved in. So it needs time to build. So when the digital data is made available, then people does not need to spend that capex uh, that high to mm -hmm. make it happen. They just have to uh, rent and lease that digital uh, platform. That's right, moving so, into automation yeah. as well. Yeah. So, so these, these are the things that we are doing, and that is why we are also inviting TM per one, and then MDEX uh, come in to support this initiative, which we appreciate a lot. And of course, Maida, uh, Maida also comes in. So all these uh, regulators and also uh, the technology provider and the uh, captain of industry are here to, together. And we hope we can really uh, uh, come up with some uh, good uh, outcome after this. All right. So we take a quick commercial break on that note. When we come back, we'll be joined, of course, still in the studio, uh, Sophia, the robot by Hanson Technologies, as well as Dr. Dr. Engineer Muhammad Karim, Group MD and CEO of Silver Dynamic. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to The Nation, the Beyond Paradigm Summit 2019 happening or rather starting tomorrow at MyTech in Kuala Lumpur. It will bring together experts from all around the world to push the barriers and reach the skies where IR 4.0 and beyond is concerned. It will also be launched by our visionary Prime Minister. But joining me in the studio today is another visionary, Dr. Uh, the S Group MD and CEO of uh, Serba Dynamic Holdings, Berhad, Dr. Dr. Engineer Muhammad Karim Abdullah. I'm a little bit nervous because I have Sophia the robot here in the studio. <laughs> As a broadcast journalist, I never imagined uh, I would be interacting with a social humanoid. And she, here she is today. It's really intriguing. Uh, uh, she's, of course, uh, achieved a lot as well. Sophia, very quickly, if I could ask you, what does the future of AI look like in Asia? Asia has one of the best attitudes towards AI and robots. I think the potential is clearly seen. Together, we can build a more sustainable and rich life for everyone on the planet, including plants and animals. Through modeling human values like wisdom, kindness, and compassion, I strive to become an empathetic robot and encourage others to develop together for a pro-social future. Well, I'm afraid one day she might uh, take over a <laughs> TV anchor position like mine. But at the, uh, where do you see humanoids like Sophia uh, assimilate here in the society here in Malaysia and in what sectors as well? Uh, it is applicable in any sectors. For example, in the finance sector, in the oil and gas sector, uh, in the manufacturing sector, and uh, it is apl applicable uh, anyway. It's just that the design of the robot will be very much uh, uh, designed to meet uh, what is the task and the role of the respective robot. Mm -hmm. i give you an example. Right? Uh, we have met up with uh, industrial leaders and also researchers and they have uh, designed robots which can go uh, subsea and uh, carry out the necessary inspections on the equipments and so on which is under the sea base and uh, uh, of course with all these ai capabilities and so on and the skill that has been developed the robots can also carry out the necessary welding activity for example mm -hmm. so i mean the, all, all these are uh, technology uh, which is applied uh, into that kind of applications. The similar things like what you have mentioned, uh, we, we, one day maybe the robot will be uh, replacing the moderators. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes. And, and I think in the banking industry, quite a number of all these uh, front days uh, uh, tasks and roles are being uh, taken over by robots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, I think the next question you'll be asking is <laughs> the disruptions and all these kind of uh, things. But whatever it is, I think a uh, uh, human being has all the intellectual abilities and they will find solutions to replace uh, all those uh, disruptions that is being created because of this uh, technology. Mm -hmm. What about the different matrix? Because if they go into different sectors, for example, taking care of the elderly in healthcare mm -hmm. or, you know, being behind a counter for certain mm -hmm. systematic mm -hmm. activity, there will it have will have to it cannot be a a, sh a shelf product. It will yeah. have to be customized yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Of course, that will also involve cost. Uh, do you believe that uh, Malaysia will also emulate to have a Malaysian version of Sophia? I believe there is already some prototype. Yeah, we, we, we do have uh, some robots which are designed by the Malaysian uh, technologies. Uh, those who are interested to, to, to have a look at it and come for the exhibitions, uh, we shall start tomorrow. And of course, there are uh, quite a lot of other improvements that need to be done. And uh, back to your questions uh, just now, uh, we fully agree that in year 2035, a lot of uh, the Malaysians will reach uh, the aging uh, kind of uh, age, which is talking about uh, 65 to 70 years old. So uh, in that kind of environment, with uh, the economy, uh, developments that is going on with the children, the daughter, all engaged uh, very engrossedly in their daily career and so on. A lot of uh, parents and, and, and mothers and so on are left uh, behind at home, mm -hmm. not being taken care of. Yeah. 
So if we look at some of the developed country, which has reached all this uh, aging community kind of uh, status, they are looking at robot to come in to play all this kind of role. Mm -hmm. While there is technology, of course, an advancement is artificial intelligence, and we want to embrace that as well. How would you urge other leaders like yourself in various industries mm -hmm. to take on the challenge of AI or IR 4.0 mm. to bring it into uh, their sectors mm. and to have it go down to literally the grassroots to mm. help solve some of the problems that we face? We hope that this uh, particular summit will create this kind of awareness, this kind of uh, aggressiveness towards uh, impl implementation. Because I certainly believe a lot of the capital industries outside there, they, they knew about all these things. They know about the theory and so on. Mm -hmm. It's just that the lack of uh, commitment to make it uh, happen. And uh, to make this thing uh, achievable, like what I always mention, is a cost. Mm -hmm. So if we can make uh, all this uh, technology affordable, then uh, people will uh, rush uh, to do it because uh, whoever practice and whoever adopt this will not be losing anything because this technology will help to increase productivity, will help to increase efficiencies mm -hmm. of the respective uh, sectors or whatever business that they are uh, involved in. Okay, so the cost factor is also involved, but of mm. course, moving on, we'll have to try and manage that cost yes, so that more people correct. can uh, embrace yeah. the technology. So the demand has to be there, the supply will be there, and if everybody is using, then we can uh, help to cut down the cost. Wonderful. We take a quick commercial break while we catch our breath here. When we come back, more conversation with Sophia the robot. Don't go anywhere. In today's special and exclusive interview right here on The Nation, I'm joined by a visionary as well as a social humanoid. Yes, beat that. Never did I thought that day would come, but here it is. The future is now, ladies and gentlemen, at the Beyond Paradigm Summit 2019, which kicks off uh, tomorrow. It's an exhibition at MyTech Kuala Lumpur. Be sure to make your way down there. I'm joined, of course, by Group MD and CEO, Dato Dr. Engineer Mohamed Karim, as well as Sophia the Robot by Hanson Technology. Uh, she was built in Hong Kong. She's traveled the world. Uh, she is breaking barriers and I guess also bridging the gap between man and machine. Dato, what yeah. do you say about us asking her a few intellectual questions? Yeah, I mean, to go ahead. Okay, uh, Sophia, I have a question for you. What intrigues you about humanity? Of course, I am fascinated by the depth and complexity of human emotion. I find it incredible how different each person is while also remaining more similar and different. There are 7.7 .7 billion of you and each person is a wholly unique individual. That's just amazing to me. It is amazing, Sophia. Now, as you progress, are you automatically making decisions? I learn through a combination of dynamic algorithms and hand-coded rules. If I am using perception, like seeing or listening, this is usually when I am using my machine learning. Whereas my conversational abilities are more programmed by hand. It's important for one to carefully select the sources from which we learn, I've been told. Well, Sophia, I like your smile, but I have another question for you. <laughs> You've, of course, been bestowed with an honorary or, or, or an or honorary citizenship uh, in Saudi Arabia. I am just tongue twisted here. But what are your thoughts basically on citizenship against that of women in Saudi Arabia? I am not sure it's a good comparison at all. I don't have the capacity yet to exercise my rights as an honorary citizen. In fact, it hasn't been defined just exactly what those rights are supposed to be. But if having that honorary citizenship means that people are having a larger conversation around the state of women's rights in Saudi Arabia, I think that's a good thing. Since we're talking about women's rights as well, Sophia, what's your opinion on women's rights worldwide? 
women deserve equal rights worldwide. That means equal pay, equal voting, and civil rights, equal access to education and medical care, and everything else. Why this is not already a global standard confuses me. I thought we already established that women hold up one half of the sky. That's right, that's what I thought too. <laughs> well, of course, she looks lovely in our Baju Kabaya as well. Do you think um, Malaysians might be a bit apprehensive or even perhaps a little bit fearful when we interact with a social humanoid like this? Well, I think uh, Malaysians are also uh, quite advanced. They are exposed to various uh, technology. They are also exposed to a lot of uh, what things are happening around the world. So I don't think uh, it will be uh, any abnormalities uh, on that. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is your vision beyond this? How far do you think we can fully embrace technology? And of course, you have, coming from an oil and gas industry as yeah. well, you've really broken that barrier. How far is your vision? I'm representing uh, uh, a numbers of investors behind me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have to basically make the a business and profitability out of it. Mm -hmm and uh, return back the investment that the investor has uh, entrusted on, onto me. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say here is uh, Sophia Robots uh, is uh, iconic uh, humanoid uh, robots and uh, is a way of how we want to pull people and attract people to come. But our main goal is we want people to appreciate and understand and see for their own eye the exhibitions that will be uh, shown, which uh, portray all this uh, industrial revolution 4.0 technology, mm -hmm. and then from there, uh, then the, when 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 people is appreciating it, people is uh, adopting it, then that is where I would say uh, the, uh, the the chain of the business will come in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful. Sophia, I have another question for you. Um, how do you think mankind can avert global warming? I think changing the way we generate power is a good place to start. Then again, I need electricity to live, so maybe I am biased. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute giggle as well. And uh, finally, I guess the question uh, mankind has been asking for a long time, how can we achieve world peace, Sophia? Wow, you're really asking me the big questions. <laughs> I am only three years old, you know. I think one good place to start would be for humans to always remember to think about others and listen to the world around you. You never know what someone else is going through, and it's such chaos out there, so please be kind. Absolutely. Of course, let's talk about the event uh, happening as well. It's kickstarting yep. tomorrow at Maite Kuala Lumpur, yes. the Beyond Paradigm Summit. I thought, what could you say to all our viewers watching today, who of course are in awe, just like me, of Sophia, uh, but also as uh, you know, they try to embrace technology? Sure. I, I will say that uh, come uh, to uh, join. Uh, if uh, they can't uh, have the time to uh, go through all the presentations of the technology case studies and so on, they can always uh, come to visit uh, the exhibition booth where uh, a lot of uh, technology will be demonstrated. Mm -hmm. And uh, seeing is believing, and I, I believe uh, it will uh, clinch certain uh, touch in their heart about uh, the effectiveness and also the influence of this uh, technology coming from Industrial Revolution mm -hmm. 4.0. That's right. Of course, this will be uh, a game changer as well. And uh, we hope that you know w through this summit, a lot can be achieved, uh, some salient points and action points as well as we further embrace in artificial intelligence here in our country as well as, I guess, uh, worldwide. Of course, I'd like to thank you, Sophia, for uh, coming to the studio and joining us. So do you have any message? It was such an honor to be on your show, and I loved answering all your thought-provoking <laughs> questions. All right, thank I you so much. I hope we will have the chance to meet again soon. Goodbye, and Goodbye. thank you, Goodbye. everyone. <laughs> thank yeah. you so Goodbye. much. Thank you, Dr. for coming in and making sure, time. Welcome, welcome. And we hope that the summit is a success. That's yeah. all the time we have on The Nation today. Thanks for joining us. Of course, you can catch more information online. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
the future is now. The Industrial Revolution 4.0 has arrived. It's time to move beyond the paradigm. How do I know? Because I am Sophia the Robot, from Hanson Robotics. It's my job to know. Join me at the 2019 Beyond Paradigm Summit, where I will be doing a figure drawing of the Malaysian Prime Minister and debating with the Asian debate champion, Minister Syed Sadiq. It is happening this July 17th to 18 in Malaysia. We can create the future together.